Hi, Costumers. How hey, you doing? Buddy. <laughs> hey, it's good Long, to see you. Long time no see. You. Glad to be back with you again. Yeah. And, uh, it's a beautiful day here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're gearing up for Memorial Day weekend. You betcha. You yeah. betcha. Yeah. And uh, welcome been... to our floss tube number twenty-seven. Yeah, absolutely, twenty-seven already. Yeah, I can't believe it. Crazy. Leo by. says, "Hey." Yeah, of course he. Uh, <laughs> when he get been wrapping himself around our feet down here and around our chairs and getting in the way and everything, so. This is what he wants. The big yeah, hand is on the, on the TV. He just wants to here. say, hey, <laughs> I'm Kathy, Carolina Cross Stitcher. And I'm Peter from Pete's B-Skips. Welcome to our floss tube and wood tube. And uh, <laughs> it's Saturday, May the 25th. And so we are happy to be back. I'm happy that Peter's back. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The last right. floss tube we did with Donna, which was a lot of fun. That was uh, May the 8th. Yeah, I guess we're kind of tag team floss yeah. tubers here. <laughs> Yeah, so, that's okay. I'm just the old steady one. <laughs> but anyway, welcome. That's this is a channel about cross stitching, sometimes quilting and woodworking. And woodworking, the mixture of the two. The it's an incredible two. thing that, that God has allowed us to do. Yeah, so and stick so around and you'll see some stitching and some wood turning and Peter's <laughs> going to play us in as he always does. Yeah, a little song here and uh, you all may know it. You've heard it. Emily Lou Harris made this song famous called Wayfaring Stranger. Helps when I hit the right strings. <laughs> I am a poor wayfaring stranger while traveling through this world of woe. Yeah, there's no sickness, toil, or danger to that bright world through which I go. Going there to see my father, going there no more to roam. I'm only going over Jordan, I'm only going over home. for putting up with my nonsense. <laughs> it's you. not the same if Peter doesn't play his in. Well. Yeah. Okay, Leo, you go play. I get to sit here and play background music. That's my ideal gig, I think, to be a, if I was gonna be a musician in a, in a show, TV show or something like that, I'd like to be the guy who's always in the background, not seeing, but playing music throughout the whole thing and uh -huh. just to the mood. You know, kind of like in the old time your movies, you know, the guy down the front there playing the piano and you never that's see him, right. but you hear yeah. all the music going on. That's, yeah. the, that's the job that I that's want to have. Maybe when I get to heaven, God will put me in front of a movie screen. Say, play, boy. But not yeah. piano, play guitar. Well, guitar, yeah. Okay, okay. You do that when we get together. We get together fun. once a month, the seniors in our um, church. Yeah. And uh, you, you will sing songs. Peter will bring songs for us all to sing. And he'll kind of play while people are talking at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Which is nice. Kind of really get nice. the crowd moving there, you know. Like, yeah. it, you know, a song, uh, Billy Joel song. Piano man, well, I'm the guitar man. Yeah, okay. Do the same thing. Get the get the crowd in the Mr. right mood. Mr. Guitar Man. There you, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, it's so good to be here with y'all. So again. good to be here with y'all. Yeah, and we hope you'll stick around a little bit and, <laughs> Enjoy and just, yourself. Uh, visit with us. Um, this is a great joy for us yeah, to be here to, to yeah. share these all these things with you, and uh, it's just can't tell you how much fun. Wonderful. Yeah, we wanted to thank y'all for all the wonderful comments from our last class too. When Nana was here, she brought her <laughs> dear Jane quilt, and we got a lot of good response from that. Mm. It was beautiful too. I love seeing that hanging back behind us. Yeah. And uh, She does good work. She also makes great cookies. Yes, she does. <laughs> she brought some biscottis and they were gone in two days. Two days gone. <laughs> I started to take some and hide them, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, she shared. She was nice. <laughs> she was good. Uh, but 
But anyway, since um, since the last last two, we've had Peter's birthday, and we uh -huh. did have a, a little get together at church with the seniors, <laughs> and my friends uh, Sharon and Ken um, picked up a cake for Peter. Yeah, yeah. I'll show y'all that cake. Happy birthday, cake! Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I'm an old man already now. You were yeah. big, number 68. That's right. Week before I was young, now I'm 68 years old and <laughs> feeling every minute of it. Well, you're catching up with me. Yeah, I, well, I know it. Yeah, I'm going past you, too. You're, you're still you. a little, yeah, still a little behind. I guess the only way you could catch up is if I... Well, don't do that. No, <laughs> in that case, I don't want to catch up. Uh, but anyway, so that's what's been happening with Peter, and I've had... Uh, Wake Forest Library Stickers Group, hey, uh, this this month, and also the Zoom, which has been a lot of fun. Mm. There's four or five or six of us that get together on Zoom. We hope that more of y'all will come, mm. and uh, it's just a lot of fun. It gives me an excuse to sit here in the day. There you go. Yeah, and I like that. Well, truthfully, though, she doesn't get much of a chance to, to stitch during the day, generally, with so many things going on. Right, so. right. But anyway, we wanted to miss y'all, <laughs> to wish y'all a happy <laughs> Memorial Day. And yes. uh, thank all of the people for their service, uh, Peter, for his service, uh, for all of those uh, brave soldiers that have given their lives to to keep our country free. And they're still doing it. And still doing, still doing it. it. Yeah. Sacrificing uh, their very everything they've got. So, yeah. Yeah. so we do thank That's you. Off to them. And uh, I was going to show uh, I showed some um, patriotic stitches in my in our last floss tube. And then I had this that was given, this was a gift, uh, gift exchange from a retreat I went to last year. I think these are called Stitchy Birds. <laughs> and I just think that's so cute. So I'm gonna put that out with my with my 4th of July, not 4th of July, what well, is July? Yeah. Memorial Day patriotic <laughs> stitching. And we also had, um, I had this gift that was from a gift exchange from Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit. And I showed it a couple of floss tubes ago, and I couldn't tell you who it was from uh, <laughs> as far as the designer. And I asked y'all, and y'all nobody knew, and we had some people that had asked, they want to know what it is, who, who designed it. So I thought, oh, why don't I ask on Instagram? Because, you know, surely somebody on Instagram knows this stitch. And sure enough, I came to find out that this is Pansy Patch Quilt and stitchery oh, okay. laurie she designed this and it was in 2023 um nashville nashville needlework market cookbook and i have looked high and low to see if i can find that cookbook and well, it's gone mystery solved but anyway that's what it is so if you have that nashville <laughs> needle mark needlework market cookbook from 2023 that's where this is where it's from <laughs> i just think it's darling it was finished so pretty so one of my favorite ones here. I just think that's Very so nice. cute. Little bunny nice on it. Yeah. So anyway, I wanted to uh, make sure I shouted that out. I uh, also wanted to kind of, before we get going, talk about a few floss tubers that I've watched. There's a couple that are new to me uh, that I've just come across. Oh, okay. So they, they might be new to you or you might have been watching them for a while. Uh, Moonshine Stitchery, BD. I Moonshine. Moonshine Stitchery. Sounds like a happy bunch right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I caught her and I enjoyed watching her. I didn't watch but one, but I would like to go back and watch some more. Moonshiners, huh? Yeah. But she was doing uh, the Silhouette Stitch by Bethlehem, called Bethlehem, from Imaginating. Oh, come on. Yeah, and her, oh, it was just so pretty. She was doing it in a navy blue. Uh, thread floss and uh, I just think it's beautiful I would love to get that it's in my cart at one two three stitch but I hadn't, I hadn't hit nope. purchase yet <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I enjoyed watching her and uh, you might want to go check her out and I'll put a link down below also caught now she's not new to me but made by Michelle McGraw and she was working on a lot of bigger samplers and I wanted to congratulate you, Michelle, on your 100th floss tube. Wow. wow. Congratulations. I mean, this is 27. Can you imagine wow. 100 for us? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to last that long. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> oh, so congratulations. And because I watched you and you had so many Teresa Kogut stitches, I pulled out one of my Teresa Kogut and worked oh, on it. Know. So thank you. I was <laughs> working on making beautiful things, and you'll see it a little bit more in here. Uh, Paige, new to me, uh, she is so createful. 
And I think, I don't know if she's been around for a while, but uh, she's working on I Spy Challenge that is from uh, Laura Stitching by the Shore. I've got notes down here, so y'all forgive me if I look down. Uh, anyways, I enjoyed watching her. She was, she was really cute. And then of course, um, JBW Designs, Judy Whitman. I love watching her. She's just, she seems like such a lady. And uh, she was talking about her creative process and she draws on a lot of samplers for her, for her, um, for her designing, antique samplers. So I thought that was, that was good. You know, so many people, the name starts out with S-E-W. So, yeah. so unique, so, so sweet. I know. So, wonder how many there are, how many names people have themselves to start with so. I know, probably a lot. And even bet. one, I'm sure there's probably even one that says, so what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe she call her. Yeah, I had to reserve that one. Except I'm not a sewer. Uh, but anyway. Well, we were called So Buddies when we made our pillows. Do so you remember? Sure. So, do you remember So Buddies? Yeah, so yeah. Buddies. I mean, just it's amazing. That was a ministry that I started at a church that we were at before. That's right. We had so much fun. We made these little comfort pillows. Yeah. People going through cancer. And cancer or loss like or just anything that needed some encouragement. Yeah. That was a good ministry. We made yeah. hundreds. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good fellowship. It was a lot Time of together. fun. Yeah, yeah, we got together once a month, and yeah. uh, we had it. We had it just streamlined. You know, we had three or four people that bought, brought sewing machines. I brought two sewing machines. I actually bought another sewing machine so we could have an extra one. People could one for sit. each hand. Yeah, <laughs> but we had stuffers and ironers, and ironers and cutters, label makers, uh, people that. Um, could write really well because we made labels on them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah it, was it was a regular of, production line. It was line, a yeah. regular production line. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but that's anyway, curious. that's just a couple of the floss tubers <clears throat> that I've caught recently. I've watched a whole lot more, but I won't. I won't list them all here. I would love to hear who y'all have been watching. So if you'd like to share, maybe a new one that uh, uh, you know, like that's new to you that maybe we haven't caught, that would be great. I wanted to go ahead and show you my book. This isn't book of days, but this is what I keep my, my stitching in nowadays. And it's kind of cram packed full. It's hard to read, but um, it helps me to kind of stay organized. And I've got it color coded. So my whip go is purple. Um, Magazine monthly challenge is a navy blue. Stitch alongs are orange. Uh, FOs are hot pink. <laughs> Floss tube is a, uh, what is that, aqua? Yep. New starts are green. Um, just stitching because I want to stitch is in black. <laughs> so anyway, this really helps me to kind of keep up with what I'm, what I'm doing and what I'd like to do, um, especially with doing some of the different challenges. One thing too that I wanted to share, uh, I know a couple of floss tubes ago, I had shared that I had bought um, or invested in the Fragments in Time 2023 series. And I found on uh, their website, the uh, Summer House Stitch Works, they actually have a chart if you wanted to do them all in one stitch or if you want to do, you know, do them individually. And you know what I was thinking about doing is I don't know if I want to do every one of them or I'd like to start off maybe doing four, you know, mm -hmm. but you could do four, you know, and just make it a long stitch or even do four and put them on, square. yeah, and do it, put it on a box. So you could turn it and see the, the, the different stitches. Maybe mm -hmm. even put one on top. Well, that could happen too. Maybe yeah. one on the bottom. And then you could just keep rotating like a cube. Anyway, go to Summer House Stitch Works. It's in her and it's free. And uh, it uses the same floss that's in the uh, the stitch. So anyway. So all these links, they'll be in the description below. All these things will be in the description below. I'll try to remember. And if I don't, then don't hesitate to ask because I've because yeah. she forgets. Because I forget. <laughs> I'm one to talk. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, yes. Of course, I'm genetically designed to forget, so I've got, I got a good excuse. And then I wanted to share one other thing before we get started on the stitching. Mm -hmm. I'll see, we're 14 minutes in. Ooh, okay, we'll get going. I had an <laughs> aha moment this morning. You know, you ever get one of those aha moments? Why didn't I think of that before? Yeah. And you know, when I'm, and it's mainly for when I'm doing floss tube, because I'm digging in the bag and I'm trying to find my my card that has all the stitching information yeah, on it. Driving everybody nuts with all the driving noise. Driving everybody nuts, driving myself nuts and the longer it takes the more anxious I get. <laughs> well I bought these from Amazon. I've had them. They're the adhesive cards that I was going to put and have put on the back of framed pieces 
and it's just adhesive and the index card slides down in it like a little library card which works great for framing but i thought why why don't i put those because i use these bags why don't i just put them on the front of the bag you can read it off what it is. aha moment oh my goodness so i've done that to a bunch of my bags i haven't done it all but just what i was going to share with you today and i just put it on and then use my little roller to make sure it was adhered really mm -hmm. good and then the card just slides in inside you can pull it out there you go make any information notes. at hand yeah so that? that's my aha moment uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move this that's down. a good tip good it's tip. a great tip so I'll, I'll put this link i'll try to remember to put this link down below uh to amazon the 36 pack i think I can't remember what they were, but they weren't much. Mm. And I probably will be getting more. I don't use a whole lot of uh, fancy uh, uh, bags. I just use these, yeah. these kind Those of bags. Those are functional. They're That's very functional good. where you can see through them and yep. they don't take up as much space as some of the fancier bags. So anyway. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Would you like to share something with us and then I'll share something and, okay. and we can just kind of you don't have as much. I've got a lot of, uh, I have one new start, two FOs, and then a lot of whips. Lots of whips. Lots of whips. Okay. And nothing major, just a little bit of stitch on this, a little bit of stitch on that. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and show this right off hand then. Uh, quite often, a lot of times when I'm making something, I don't really know what I'm making it for. I'm just doing it to turn wood on a lathe because that's good therapy for me. And uh, but every once in a while, I'll turn out a little bowl or something like that, and uh, I show it to Kathy, and quickly it disappears and ends up in her <laughs> quilting room, which is you know kind of like the, the dark hole of, of our house here. <laughs> Things go in there, and they're they never heard from or seen again. But anyway, I saw this again. This is a bowl that I made actually a while ago. It's out of oak, and it's a natural live edge bowl, which you know nothing really fancy about it at all. Just and I use a little bit of oil to make it, because uh, oil really works good to bring out the grain and woods and whatnot. Is able to preserve the the uh, edge, natural edge on this there, and it's just worked out just nice for Kathy's little uh, little cutting things here, whatever you call these things. They got radios. She's always telling me, "Watch out! I don't cut my fingers off with them." In fact, I'm surprised she didn't let me touch them now, because well, they're all locked. They're all locked. <laughs> <laughs> Childproof, so I guess I can hold them. But anyway, so this is what she. One, one example of, uh, I mean, there's other bowls and she's got this oh, one. They're all over for, the place up here. <laughs> for her little to toys. Toys, I say toys, but tools. I mean, this is a safe in. way to store your um, yeah. rubbery cutters. Yep, and it keeps it all in one place there. So anyway, all in one place that's handy. a little, little something that, I, that I've made there. And that's my, for my show and tell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Wonderful. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll just start with, I have piles. I have piles over here. Yes, she does. Yep. So I'm gonna just scoop this out of the way first. And, um, I guess I'll start with my stitch alongs. There you go. Okay, this was a new start. Carolyn Manning, see I can look right at the card. <laughs> Stitched on 36 count slate. <laughs> no, excuse me, 20 count slate by Fireball on a Whim. And this, I have been wanting to start this for a long time. And, uh, Kathy Nagel, Nagley, she wanted to start one too, and she has uh, a different Carolyn Man. She's got two actually, Beachcomber, which she was enabled by <clears throat> Donna because Donna was stitching that, and she's also starting How Does Your Garden Grow? So I said, well, let's just start these together and we'll work on them together. <laughs> so I started Peacock, Peacock Topaz. I got all the DMCs and I shooting want you to- Shooting stars, right? Yes, Very shooting nice. stars, Carolyn Manning. That's going to be nice. These are all the flosses. I've got them on tags, ready to go. And I have a very, very, very small start, but it's a start. And I wrote up here top left because you know, it'd be really easy to... Yep. <laughs> That's my start. I have one block done. <laughs> How about that, Kathy? <laughs> I think you... Kathy's got a lot more done than I do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Every journey starts with the start. Yeah, and just like a quilt. Okay, I've got one mm -hmm. block done. Beautiful. So, I like those blocks. I love the colors. I, I mean, like when you these quilt those blocks, the yeah, stars. I know, I know. I won't do that again, too. Yeah. Then another uh, stitch along that I'm doing is um, Though He Seemed a Sleeping by Lucy Beam. I have want, been wanting to stitch this for a long time. 
and I uh, saw Merritt Crawford. I told y'all about this last time, but she was starting it with a bunch of folks with uh, Celeste and Kim, the stay-at-home quilter, and uh, Z and Keller, and oh gosh, who else? Um, April Heirlooms, and um, yeah, so it, just because Merritt Crawford, yep. And so I said, can I, what are you doing this? Can I start, can I do it too? <laughs> she said, yes, please join us. <laughs> so this is Lucy Beam, though he seemeth sleeping. And we started this uh, together and I just, everybody is pulling their own fabric, uh, their own floss. And I just pulled a bunch of floss. Um, they have four different conversions that you can use. Oh, wow. And so I just, whatever I had that would work, I pulled it and then I pulled some other colors that I would like to stitch, would like to use on it. So, uh, and we're doing assignments. So once a or monthly, there's a group of stitching that you need to get done, like a row of stitching. So this was my start. There you go. I've got May's assignment done. <laughs> and I'm so happy. And yeah. I've been looking at all y'all's and everybody's is a little different. Isn't that nice? Which yeah. is nice. That's great. Yeah. 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 So that's a lot of fun. So that's a stitch along. And uh, the hashtag is though he seemed as sleeping. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this back in here so I don't lose any of my floss. And then another stitch along for Sal. Should this not go in that one? Yeah, you know, you can put them up for me. Okay, put me to work. There you go. There you go. I'll make the noise here. I'm trying not to make as much noise. <laughs> uh, this is the Smith Sampler, and I'm stitching this with Wake Forest Library Stitchers. Hey! <laughs> with Deborah and Donna and maybe Susie. We think Susie's going to do it, and maybe Terry. Susie, I hope you're feeling better. Hey, ladies from the Wake Forest Library. Anyway, we started this on May the 1st, and uh, we're trying to stitch on it one day a week. And De uh, Deborah said, why aren't we stitching on Wendy's? So on Wednesdays, so that's when I'm trying to pick it up and stitch on it. I'm stitching this for the first time using Lakeside Linen uh, Vintage Meta Rue. Let me show you the chart, which I know y'all seen. The Scarlet House, the Smith sample is just oh, uh, incredibly beautiful. Mm. Everybody else has started up at the top. I started at the very bottom. I never start at the bottom, very rarely. So I thought I would just do something different. Oh, well, that's different, yeah. That's beautiful, that's a lot of stitching. Isn't that a lot of stitching? Well, it's actually 193 by 173, so that's a pretty good stitch. That's pretty good size. Pretty good yeah. size stitch. And I'm using Vicki Clayton's silks, which you can't really see, but it's her silk pack, beautiful. And what a wonderful price. And this is how far I've gotten I got the bottom, bottom row done. Is it okay? I think so. Mm -hmm. Which is not a whole lot to look at right now. It's not really exciting, but <laughs> <laughs> it'll get there. And then I started over here just a little bit. It took a long time to get across there with two, four, six, yeah. six lines of stitching. I mean, that's crazy. But I love the beauty, beautiful Vicky's. You can't make it go any faster, though. That's well, I mean, I'm just not a real I fast stitcher. You really stitcher. wouldn't want to, I don't suppose. I'm not I'm not in a race. There you go. So, yeah. and Enjoy this, each stitch. Yeah, this lakeside linen is just gorgeous. Oh, it's so nice pretty. Nice color, I like that. Yep. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty. So those are the stitch-alongs I'm doing. And why don't I show one more, and then you... I did have... Um, got two F FOs, no, two FOs, not FFOs. I finished Danette Douglas, and I was gonna take this border <laughs> off, but I decided not to, because I might stitch the chubby bunny on the same oh, there piece you of go. fabric. So this is Chubby Bird. Your chubby Bird needs a friend. Chubby Bird. You're a chubby bunny. There's a shadow there or something. Do you see the shadow? Uh, yeah, sure do. Well, I'm not sure what that's from. So that's Chubby Bird, and I'm stitching this on 36 count Brea. Um, yep, Brea. Uh, yeah, and I'm using mostly called for floss, and I, I do have my floss, but I did pull a couple of other colors as well that are, is not in here. I think Sandcastle was not in here. Uh, Wilderness, Bees Knees. 
and whitewash because I sub those. So anyway, that's an FO, so I need to get that FFO, but I'm gonna wait until I, I think there's enough room to do the chubby It should be plenty of room. It looks like it. Bunny, yeah. I don't know why I came so far over this way, but. Gonna have a, gonna have a buddy there, you're gonna be a lonely bird. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Sure is. I think that's so cute. Okay, let me get back here. Okay, darling. Well, yeah, okay, good. Uh, this, she just handed this to me as I guess I'm supposed to do something with it. <laughs> Put it in but now that she did, well, hold on okay, a second. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, so bossy. Oh, no. <laughs> I want to, this. This frame comes part of her. What is that standard frame you bought? Elon here? and Elon, right? Yeah. And I want to show you this particular bar that goes across here. And as you can see here, how they got some angles on here. The bar that came with this originally was just straight across. Mm -hmm. And so when she put in a piece like this, this is even though this isn't so long. But what would happen was she'd clamp it in here and it would always droop down, droop and down, droop down. And yeah, pretty much right here. Next thing you know, she's, she starts out here and she's stitching her, her lap. Oh, so so I took that, I, I cut a, a piece of uh, good hardwood here and put a couple angles on here. So now when it puts in the clamp, it's held in that, uh, by that, uh, by those um, uh, beveled pieces that I put on there and it it, it, it doesn't move, it doesn't so it slip in that at, at all. Yeah. yeah, so this is something that, uh, that, uh, I don't know, maybe if anybody needs one, if you ask me really nicely. Let's back behind it and see if, uh, there yeah, you, go. you, can, you can see, see the it. angle a whole lot better there's there. The angles of the bevel there and it, it, uh, yeah. that I put in. And of course I drill the holes for the uh, for the rods to go through and that kind of thing. So that everything fits nice and dandy and whatnot. It's for the Artesian Design Elon stand and also the Gazelle. And the Gazelle. The Gazelle. Yeah. So like I said, if you're interested in one, but if you ask me really nicely, I might be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. We We've sent a couple of those. We to have. Friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah we sure they did. have the same stands and they had the same problem. So yeah. it has oh, made my stitching so much more enjoyable without fighting yeah. the grain. Yeah, well, this is just something that I noticed on there. I mean, that the had, something could be better here. And uh, so I kind of modified it. So I think it was genius. Well, I don't know about genius. I think I had my one, <laughs> that was my one good idea for the year right there. I wanted to no. capitalize on it, so. That was a great and idea. Now I'll put it over yeah. there. Yeah, okay. Oh, I forgot to mention that the chubby bird was on my whip go. It was whip go number 19. So I was able to finish that doing whip go. Yay. <laughs> good. Oh, yeah. Good job. Good yeah. job. Um, so, um, well, You'll so, need to keep going. That word S E W keeps showing up everywhere okay. in this type of Another um, of my, let's see, which one did I stitch this was on? Um, oh, on uh, the magazine monthly challenge. See, I'm doing several challenges. I really, I am really getting in. I'm digging these challenges. I can tell. Yeah. I mean, they're fun because it's like, whoa, I got to get that. I got to get that. I got to get that. <laughs> Even though I'm just doing a little bit, but I'm still touching a lot of whips, as y'all will see. She is. Unbelievable. So I'm doing the Magazine Monthly Challenge. I told y'all about that for May uh, at the first of the month. And it's uh, the acrostic is bicycle. And the theme is farmer's market. Okay. So I've already finished the farmer's market. I showed that to you last time. And uh, Peacemaker is the I in bicycle. So what what was I gonna stitch with that eye? I was gonna do, I decided to do Peacemaker 2 uh, on told in a garden. And that's, this is the little bitty tiny picture that goes with it. Oh my. Told in a garden. Can y'all see that? That is very small. Not sure if you can see that. Hopefully really, it come out good on really, the computer really, screen. Really, really, really tiny. But anyway, so I did pick this up. It's all DMC, got a lot of floss. A lot of floss. Let me tap my floss. I hate floss to get all tangled up, but I don't know what to do to keep it from getting tangled up. Use a conditioner. Tame. So anyway, I was Tangle able free. to work on it, and I got the uh, the background fabric of my quilt done, which I'm really happy with that. Look oh, at that. Really that shows up nice too. Do you remember this is the I one do. that I was concerned with I because do. I thought it was white and looking at the picture, this is actually blue. And it does, I mean, you can tell it just a little bit. It is, just enough. Just but enough. I think it, it's a great contrast. Yeah, it is. So that's it right off there. So anyway, that was one of my prompts for um, Magazine Monthly Challenge. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Enjoy that. 
You have something you want to share, darling? I would love to. I'd love okay. to. Um, I had a piece of uh, poplar uh, hanging around my shop here that I've been holding on to for a while. I'm just waiting to dig into it. And, and since how there's one day or uh, one week, I got done with a bunch of orders and I had some free time in my hand. I didn't uh, tell Kathy that I was free or anything. So I had some time to play, <laughs> did some Peter therapy on in the wood lay there. So I took this whole chunk of, of uh, poplar and I rather- I think you showed that time before last when you were one. Did I? Piece, I think you did, piece of poplar. Oh, okay. Y'all remember seeing that? <laughs> yes, no, I hope you do, because I don't. Anyway, I shaped it down, and I'm turning it. This it's not finished yet, but anyway, I turn this into a, a a kind of a unique type of bowl. You can see where the knots came right through this piece of wood. There, I want to preserve all of that. That's a big branch that went through that right there. Very heavy, too. Very, and it's heavy for a piece of uh, poplar. Usually, it's kind of like pine soft for, but it, this one is quite heavy. And as you can see, the top. I wanted to preserve the top, and you see where that branch comes through there? That, I, That's flat right here. Yeah, it's, plus it's got some contours in it that I wanted to keep there where the, in the wood itself. So I just turned it and uh, the outside like that. And then, of course, I hollowed it out on the inside with my little special hollowing tool that I've got. I still got to finish the bottom, so it's not a FFO yet. That's and, so cool. And put, I, I used some, uh, some special uh, finish on there, and uh, then I got to put maybe one or two more coats on some coat of wax, and then I'm thinking of making a, a nice little top, because I like to have little tops on oh, there, yeah. just a little, little something on there. And you know, there's not really a whole lot of functionality to this, but it was just fun to make. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna look a nice, really, be a really nice piece of decoration there, mm -hmm. I think for something, somebody or whatever, or I just hold on to it until I get sick of looking at it. No. It's just such an unusual shape. Yeah, it is, it is, yeah, I, li I like that. It did give it a little bit useful, unusual, uh, shape there too, even with the mm -hmm. top kind of contouring it along the way there. So I want to get the best use out of the grain of this wood. This piece of poplar, which is not generally known for all that really much for grain, that but really this one was a, uh, turned out to be, you know, that's the nice thing about cutting wood. You never know what you get until you cut into it. Yeah. And then you see all these little things and, and it's nice to be able to take advantage of it. And uh, to uh, so much character. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And so I, there I were there were one, there were three limbs coming out. Yeah, it looks like one, one, one here, um, one here, and then one big one over this. Big. Yeah, that must have been a big branch that came came out there somehow or another. Um, I would have liked to have seen the tree that this came off yeah, of there. I don't too. even know me too. Uh, where I got it from. If I bought this chunk of wood from somewhere or, or whatever, but uh, it's neat. I walk around the shop because I have no idea. I buy stuff and set it aside, and then of course out of sight out of mind yeah. then i run into it later it's like ooh, it's like that aha uh -huh moment there yeah. yeah so anyway wow. so this is my little poplar i love it poplar bowl's got a nice little green tint to it because poplar has green in it mm -hmm. which is really nice really nice so, really nice thank you i think you showed that last time did i i believe so yeah i might try to find it and see if i can get a picture of it and show maybe before and oh yeah contrast. almost after so that's still a that's still a work in process still a, still a whip to whip. To whip. To whip. Okay, fun. Nice. Well, I picked up uh, another one of my whips for um, the magazine monthly challenge was E uh, I did for Sunnyside Sampler with the E in the alphabet. And that uh, I started this, was it last month? I started it on April the 3rd. Yeah. And um, Y'all have seen this chart. I just, I just love this stitch. Mm -hmm. And y'all help me out with the color of the fabric to use. And um, I do appreciate that. And I'm using Vicki Clayton Silk. She she did a conversion for me. So I've got them all in these two uh, little bins. And these are actually bead containers. So these were to hold beads. So what I did is I just put the number, Vicky's number on it, and I've got it beside the spool so I can put any extras <laughs> in there. That's pretty good. Uh, nice well, make good I, use of that. I hope so. I appreciate her doing that conversion for me. Mm. And so I've got a little progress, and it's still a little hard to see, but I'm hoping when it's done, I just don't want to start it over again. Because I love this fabric, and I think it's going to be fine. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah, you can hold that side if you want to, if you want to. So that's what I'm working on. I started on this this additional house over here. I finished this topiary, 
And I haven't filled in the windows of that first house. And I'm gonna wait to do the windows because uh, the called for is a dark black. I don't want to do the windows in the dark. I mean, this is supposed to be the sunny side sampler, so I might even do just a really, really pale yellow. That would be nice, yeah. To, to you know, just represent light. Good idea. Coming out of the windows. Good idea. So. Yep, that's pretty. Anyway, like I worked on that. I started working on the over one. This uh, up at the top, the keep on the sunny side, all that is over one. So I just did keep so far. Hmm. I'm just going to have to work on a little bit of time because this is 36 count uh, Grace Note Fabrics called Butterfly Tea. Butterfly Tea. Isn't that a pretty name? <laughs> <laughs> Butterfly Tea. Very nice. Beautiful. Yeah, I it's like that house. It's pretty, isn't it? And I worked on the little bird. Yeah. I started this uh, flower pot over here. I like Very it. Nice. I really, I really do like <laughs> it. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Thank you, darling. I'll put that over here. Okay. Yeah, do you have room? Uh, make room. Okay. Okay, you have something? I do, I do, in fact, yeah. Um, again, rummaging around the old shop there, I found this old piece of spalted oak, which oak, well, I have a lot of problems with oak in that it, the way the grain runs, it's kind of like little tubes that run through the, the tree and they have a great tendency to split if it isn't pre-cured right when you cut it down, stuff like that. So I'll cut pieces of wood and I throw it up there in my shed. I've got some out there, it's like over five years old and which should be well cured by now. But I, were, I found this little piece here and I thought, hey, I, I wanna make a, uh, a, a nebby needle out of something different than what I usually do. I usually do either either maple or cherry, mm -hmm. uh, or poplar, or poplar mm -hmm. tulip poplar. But I had this old piece of uh, oak. Let me show it to you what this what a, this spalted piece looks like. And it looks old, it looks russet, it looks like something my great, 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 great grandmother <laughs> used to work on here. And so old, in fact, on this edge right here, you can see how that is. See how rough and gnarly that is. I mean, that's just like it's chewed on. <laughs> chewed on. I mean, the cow's got a hold of it, kicked around the field, chewed on a little bit. Yeah. And uh, but it, the, it, I mean, it's a solid piece, and it's just got that rustic, old, timey feel. I just and, love the old rustic looking. Yeah. Is it heavy? Yeah. Well, oh yeah, it's, little, it's heavy. Got a little weight yeah. to it. Yeah. Not as much as some of the exotic woods, but mm. yeah, I mean, oak is oak is a very heavy. Uh -huh. And the nice thing about this is there, look, Ma, no splits. Oh, nice. This is nice. Of course, the top is not done, which or the bottom. I don't have that finished off yet. That's going to be the next thing. So the next time we do a floss, so this should be completed okay. and, and done. And uh, but this really, I think this would look really great uh, with some of those uh, the nevy needle stitches. I think so go too. around, go yeah. around there like that. I need to get some completed with the and, uh, out. That would, yeah, that would be great. But uh, so I like, I'm liking this because I'm, I'm finding different woods that I can use that, mm -hmm. that and create the besides the usual ones we got. We'll put these in the shop, this in the shop, and this will be kind of like a one off. And um, I got, I do got other rope, but mm -hmm. but you know mm -hmm. we'll have to see. I kind of like I take things piece by piece, and if I find something that's nice, I make something out of it. But generally, it's a one off. Yeah. So we sell it like that. But uh, I really like working some of these old pieces of wood like that that are just they've been through it all, and they look and feel like me. <laughs> so <laughs> if they can get shined old, out old and person. be used, there's hope for me. Right. Anyway, so not oh. that. So next time I'll show you that what that looks like there with the end here when I get it polished up. It's almost, you can't really see it, but the spalting, the way it's outlined there, it's going to almost look like little continents. Like mm -hmm. if you look at a globe, you see the outline of continents and, yeah. and that kind of thing. That's yeah. what this is going to look like when yeah. they get it done. So There was a time in our Exciting. shop where that's all people wanted was the spalted woods. I know. And we, you made a lot of, you made a lot. Matter of fact, I've got a lot of it, that little spool over there. Again, she absconds with things yes. that I never. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he'll make some. We, we put some stuff in the shop yesterday and I had a really hard time. Uh, there was one. Her eye there, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> there was one head piece gap we put in there. I said, oh, do I really want to put that in there? <laughs> but we did. Yeah, yeah it was, it's just so We're unique. thankful for the business. You know, yeah. it gives us the lecture to supplement our Social Security. We can eat three times a day and that kind of thing. Pay, <laughs> or twice pay a, a day. Few bills. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the bank hasn't run, kicked us out of the house yet. Not yet. <laughs> so, so we appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, we do appreciate that. It's always good. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. So I, I, I picked up another stitch just kind of because it's one Pete, it's Peter's birthday stitch from two years ago. And when your birthday, gosh, two years ago, I should have had it finished already. Uh, and y'all know which hey, one I'm talking about. It takes time. And the forest grew. And the forest grew. 
And it is growing. It's growing. Needs yeah, some fertilizer, needs some water, needs some sunshine. <laughs> and it's going. Uh, I think this this uh, forest must be full of oaks and it's growing very slow. Like good, good hardwood trees, they take a long time to grow. <laughs> the forest grew by Karen Kaluba. Look, that love is a Karen big Kaluba. Stitch. Well, and I'm slow. Rosewood Manor. She but says I, she's slow, but she's doing a hundred million things there. I mean, you only do one thing at a time. I mean, and once in a while I look over there and I got smoke stuff pouring out of her needle, I tell you, you gotta slow down, the thing turning red hot there. <laughs> so this is, you know, the accumulated floss so far from the, the four different, or five, I think I'm on section six already. Wow, yeah, it's looking great, it really. I can't well, wait I mean, to frame coming, this thing. I got just a little bit done and there's really no reason to put anything over. I just, I worked on those birds, got the birds and I started on this tree over here, mm -hmm. this little tree right here, and those, mm -hmm. this and then brought this mm -hmm. over. So I figured if I could just pick it up, you know, once a week or twice a week. So I'm just leaving it on the frame and, uh, mm -hmm. and then just get, you know, one or two of the things done. Well, I didn't finish that topiary, but I'm working on it. It's not a topiary, that's a tree. But anyway, I love this stitch. I want to get it finished by next year on your birthday. <laughs> Y'all hear me? I'm trying to commit to that. You know, I think that she picked that four screw because I'm, I guess I, you call me the original tree hugger. I, yeah, I love loves. to go out in the uh, fall time and I gather up all of the seeds that fall on the ground and, and then I germinate them and I grow them. I got a whole backyard full of uh, a white oak, oh. uh, <laughs> honey locusts. Crepe myrtle, yeah. maple, yeah. Uh, all kinds of stuff like that. A driveway is full of them there. I got a bunch of maple trees, and the deer all love me for that because they love apparently yeah. maple leaves. What's growing in our bird cage, our old bird cage? Are those dates? Yeah, I threw. I had some dates, and I threw. <laughs> I just threw them in a pot, and I thought, what happened? What happened? And it had already had a lily, or not lily, but a uh, your mother's plant that you had. The, um, Ivy? Ivy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, is that Ivy there that's by the door in the... In the uh, that's still a bedroom, yeah. Fancy name. Fancy. Ivy. Yeah. Ivy, yeah. Anyway, so I, I had one little thing sticking up, and, then, and I was nursing it along for several months, and I, so I kept watering it, and I just had a bunch of date seeds, and I just threw them in there and thought, well, hey, you know, if I get a... I've already got actually about four, five uh, of those other ones I had grown previously. Next thing you know, another one pokes up to the top, but the leaf came out, it's another ivy. Oh, okay. But okay. Then, then, then there's one that comes up, the one that's further on the on back, close to the door mm -hmm. of the cage there. And what do you know? It's, it's a, a date. It's a date. It's a date. They, they're about this tall. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they don't have stalks yet. They just grow really just long, like a long gigantic leaf. long leaf. Yeah. And uh, I love watching things grow and, and like that. You can't grow wrong. Growing trees, that's no, a good thing. you can't. Thing. You can't. And you've given away a lot of trees. I do. I have, yeah. Look, I got no room in my yard for I got, we got, what, an acre and a half land? Yeah. And I think I got about three inches of ground on <laughs> that I haven't space. planted anything on yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's what you wanted in the little fella. Yeah, you got to have yeah. attention. Poor yeah. guy. You know, he's so abused and nobody pays attention he's, to he's him. He's daddy's little boy Barely now. ever feed him. <laughs> he's gained some weight since we got him. I'll tell you. Loves the cookies. His new name is Chunky Monkey. <laughs> All right, moving on. Okay, now we'll see if I can pull this over without making a mess. So what I've got left on whip go, I think I have, have I got any more whip go? I think I've got more whip go, though he seemed to have shown that one. Um, I'm doing this challenge. It's under the Magazine Monthly Challenge Facebook group. <laughs> and I saw it coming up. And on the 19th, I don't know if it started the 19th or the 20th, but anyway, it's called Mother May We. <laughs> <laughs> and it was supposed to be for five days. Carolyn Zook would give a, a, oh. a prompt. Uh, and, uh, or I think the other lady that's doing it, she would ask a question, Mother, may we stitch on something that we love? And Carolyn Zook would come back and she'd say, no, you may not. You must stitch on something that has da 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 Okay. So, <laughs> so the first one was Mother May We, well, what it ended up being is, is the prompt was stitch on something that is uh, close to a finish, okay? Which I had several, you know, that were close to a finish. Let me get, pull this over here. And uh, the first one then was Lydia Hooten, uh, Trelly the Spanish Stitcher. <laughs> and I was really close. All I had left was a flower. So I pulled that out and I was able to get that 
finished. So I have another Yay. FO. So that's two FOs. So I was able to get this, this flower pot. And I realized after I'd finished it that I, I reversed these two colors. Charlie, I hope that's okay. I didn't mean to. <laughs> but that was supposed to be blue on the inside and green on the outside. Oh, but I, didn't. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I didn't pull it out. <laughs> Just let it go. So I need to get this FFO'd. And I would like to find a pretty little frame to put that in or have you, you know, make a frame. For I would that. love to. Absolutely. Yeah. This is the one that looks like a box of crayons. I just love it. So yeah. many different primary nice colors. colors. Just sweet. It's just a sweet. Nice color. Now I know why it's got yeah. so friendly. It's five o'clock. Oh, okay. Well, hang on, guy. We're, we're moving along pretty fast yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. that was my first prompt of the um, Mother May We. Um, the second prompt was you need to stitch on something that has people in it, person or people. Okay, so I was like, oh gosh, what do I want to stitch? I started to pull out my Peacemaker too, but I've already stitched on that, so I wanted to stitch on something else. <laughs> so I said, okay, what? Oh, and then I had watched um, Michelle, okay? I was watching Michelle McGraw, and she had stitched on so many Teresa coats. I said, okay, I'm pulling this out, making beautiful things. That's nice. Cute little, this was a... Um, retreat piece that we got last May at the uh, cross, no, not cross stitch and crafts, the craft gallery when oh. Teresa was there. She was the guest designer. And I just love that. <laughs> and I hadn't picked it up really much uh, <clears throat> since then, since I got a start on it. So I stitched on this. Oh, and the Mac, the uh, Mother May we it was either, uh, was it a hundred stitches or an hour? Okay, I don't count stitches. I don't, I just don't do that. You know, people do that, that's fine. I'm just not, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard enough time counting these. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'm just gonna work on it an hour. So that's what I did. And I worked on that during our, our Zoom. And it was fun, you know, just, just trying to get started on that lady, little girl that's in the center. I think she's so cute with her pigtails. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Got a hat with ribbons flowing off of it. Bird on her hat. And cute little collar. Yeah. So anyway, that was my second day prompt of Mother May We. Teresa Kogut. And then the third day prompt was, let me turn this over here so I can, <laughs> where is it? Okay, it was stitch on something that has words. Okay, well, you know, a lot of things have words. And, and I might be getting these days wrong, but y'all you know, forgive me. Anyway, so I hadn't picked this up since I started it last year. So I thought, okay, this is a good time to pick it up. Yep. It has words, but I can't get over to the words yet, but I am still gonna pick it up. And this is Adam named the animal. I just love this. This is 220. Nice. Very nice. Yep. yep. So I worked on this for an hour and I got uh, more of this little tree that's on the side <laughs> stitched. So coming down here, got that done and that done. Not a whole lot for an hour, but that's okay. It's a nice branch. Yeah, nice branch. <laughs> There's a, a leopard on that branch. Oh. Or a tiger? Yep, looks yeah, like a tiger. 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 It's a tiger doing up in the tree. I don't know if y'all can see this. And I'm stitching this with the collar corn. I think the majority of it is um, DMC, a lot of DMC. Can y'all see that tiger maybe up in the branch? A, maybe it is a leopard. It's rather small. It's pretty small, yep. Yeah. I know it's got spots or stripes. It's really cute. A lot of over one in that. Yeah, it may be a leopard. So anyway. I have to ask the designer. Yeah, the designer, <laughs> that's Plum Street Sampler, Paulette Stewart. And so that was fun, you know, picking that up and working a little bit on that. Hang on there, little buddy. And then the next day was stitch on something that has a border. So, and this was also part of my um, magazine monthly challenge. I was supposed to stick on it, stitch on it for two days. So I'm using the hour that I spent as one day. 
And this is Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. Wow. Beautiful stitch. So creative. Yeah. I've got that top part just about done. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. <clears throat> put that over there. All righty then. Mm -hmm. I left it on the scroll rods because I still need to work on this for another day for my uh, magazine monthly challenge. I was able to bring these flowers over and bring this, this border down and start on that flower right there. So that was day four, and I'm stitching this on 36 count R&R &R, uh, American Chestnut with Vicki Clayton Silks. And I, I can't remember if this was the first time I used Vicki's Silks um, when I started this some time ago back in 21. Huh, kind of embarrassed to say that. And I thought it was a little thin, so I doubled the the floss. That's right, Marie, tell them about that. And I'm using two strands. I wish I hadn't done that yeah. because I tell you what, I'm just not enjoying it. Never again. Well, I mean, I think I, I think I like the prim look just the, you know, a little bit better. Uh, but what I'm thinking about doing, and I'm asking y'all what you think, is I'm thinking about just stopping it right here and maybe bringing Christmas garden up and letting that be my stitch. And I would like to stitch this down here, but maybe individually or as a row. Yeah. I don't know. I just. They make a nice thing to go around a spool. It would. That's there, what I'm thinking, it? yeah. Yep. Make a spool to fit it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, y'all let me know what you think. I know, you know, we, we have to adapt and modify and. Improvise, adapt, improvise. overcome. <laughs> I just, I, you know, it's going to take me so long to get this done. And I don't know if I'm going to be pleased with it. Should I keep one or, or what What should I do? I mean, I do love it, but. Are you sure as heck ain't going to rip it all out? No, I'm not going to rip it all out. And I don't want to start over. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty. It's a beautiful stitch. Yep. Maybe I should just keep going. I don't know. It's up to you, but I'd say press on. Step on the gas. <laughs> okay. Yep, that is that and that is, is four colors, Vicki Clayton silks. I just, I can't imagine this is going to be enough silk though, because I mean, I can put a, a strand of floss on my needle and it's gone, you know, just, just like that. Well. So anyway, that was my uh, day four prompt stitch something with a border. And then I am coming up to having everything done, except a little bit of whip. A little bit of whip. A little bit of whip. So I'm going to do whip it more a little maybe, bit. Then you can talk. And I can, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I only got a couple things here. More okay. Here. And uh, the day five prompt was mother a stitch something that had a flower on it Ooh, well you know a nice lot one. a lot of stuff has flowers on it. but i love this i started this with the stitchy friends <laughs> on instagram um and i just i think it's so pretty this was i think an etsy shop heart song stitchery and dye works nice and it's called spring serenade Beautiful. Fans going. I hope y'all can see Beautiful. that. Yeah, wind's blowing everything around out here. I know it. Can't hardly keep my hair in place. <laughs> uh, so I picked this up. I had the vase uh, not completed, but some of the vase done, and I stitched this flower. Nice. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Lovely colors. And I'm stitching this on 36 count lambs wool by XJU Designs with the called for DMC and I had to sub some of the DMC because I didn't have or I uh, yeah, yeah oh, sub some oh, of the DMC oh. but I just think it's beautiful and then the bonus day in the mother may we was okay so of the five things that were called that uh Carolyn said no you can't stitch on this you have to stitch on this pick one that you want to stitch on so one of them was stitch something you love. And I said, okay, I love this. I love the colors. I'm gonna show you the colors. Cause I tell you, they just. Super duper. Oh, they just make my mouth water. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, really, it looks, look at it looks like candy. Look at this, look at these colors, y'all. Look at these colors. Oh my gosh. Blues, greens, reds. 
oranges, pinks. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? It is very pretty. Beautiful thread. Just amazing with this. Yeah. All the things were available. And these are all DMCs. I mean, you can't go wrong with DMC. They're just so pretty. Look at them. So that's, I picked that up and stitched on it for an hour. And then my hour that I got the stitch last night was this work on this flower over here. I haven't checked Kim's, you know, the progress on our stitchy friends to see if they're still working on this. Mm -hmm. Kim's probably finished already because she's so fast. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, so that is my stitching. A lot of pieces, yeah. a lot of little, you know, things done. Yeah, um, consistent though, that's good. You stick yeah, with it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to do the magazine monthly challenge next month. And I'm whip go. I still have, um, still have two things to stitch on for whip go. Um, Adam names the animals. I've got two more days to work on that. And little sheep virtues. I need to pick that up. Two things more on the magazine monthly challenge, and that's Gila Che and Christmas Garden yep. for another day each. And super duper. So that's my plans. That's my plans, Dan. All right, sounds good. Uh, gonna take the furry football here. There you go. Go, <laughs> go to mama. Pass him, uh, pass him on one. Ben makes it some tiny towns here and um, we got a little, uh, some maple that there's different kinds of maple as, as we found out there. There's what they call select maple, which you general standard grain type maple would like that. Yeah. And then there's a maple which we've shown before, which we call ambrosia maple, which some people call wormy uh, maple. Okay. And I personally, it's a matter of preference, I like the wormy maple because it gives you different designs and whatnot. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I made some tiny towns here. There's a piece of maple, and as I turn this around, you can see a little shock of okay. things going through here. And what this, what creates this, and uh, others like this is another one here. What creates that happening is that little ambrosia beetle that gets in the wood. How mm -hmm. they do that, and I don't know yeah. if it's a microscopic type bug, but it leaves such little these marks throughout the wood like that and it just looks so wonderful i think it's like a signature so, yes yeah, almost like yeah signature it adds such character to this wood that i really 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 I love it like I this love it. Mm -hmm. now, i'm not realizing that not everybody likes everything that i like per se but i mean it's a good blonde like wood I mean, a maple blonde wood you know which is it's nice it's good nothing wrong with it i mean maple they make they use maple to make furniture for a reason it's good hard mm -hmm. wood mm -hmm. And but it's different variations, and that's what the thing is. It's the thing you know. Everybody likes has their own likes and dislikes, and I this variation I really I like I like this an awful lot. I don't know mm -hmm. if that, how that shows or whatever, but mm -hmm. um, we had a customer and we had well. sent we had <clears throat> sent one of these to her, not thinking that she might not like it, and yeah. uh, oh. she said, "Oh, I don't know, I don't like these these uh, streaks." So what's we, wrong with this wood? Yeah, no, it's got a defect in it. <laughs> So she, she sent it, we said, well, send it back and we'll make you another one of the select maple, just the plain maple, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which... So that's what we did, but we have added these to the shop under a separate section. Yeah, yeah, but of, uh, of ambrosia maple, of ambrosia. that kind of thing. There. So, so you so, know there's going to be some. I don't know what I was thinking. I just assumed everybody else would like what I, I do, and that's, that's my fault there. Well, no, I mean, it. well, it's good we have. I mean, yeah. you know, we don't want to all And the like fact the same that it points thing. out the yeah. fact that somebody's not satisfied with theirs as well, too, then, uh, you know, they, they, they got back with us and we right. made it right. We'll make it right. And, yep. and they, they got what they wanted that uh, was more suitable to them. So that's good. Yeah. We like doing that because most thing I, I want everybody, when they get whatever that I make for their cross stitch or something like that, I'll make sure that what you get is something you're really going to like and cherish. Right. And it's going to, well, I know the product's going to last for a lot longer than you or I will. But um, it, I wanted you, you to enjoy looking at it as well, too. Mm -hmm. As well as this, if I can show this last one here as well, yeah, too. Yeah, and you changed it. That's one reason I brought it up, because you changed your process. Yeah, this is a piece of uh, Purple Heart, which weighs like a ton. Mm -hmm. Y'all seen this again, before. Again, Tiny Town. I mean, uh, my life is, is all about Tiny Towns now, but I found something that's different. And you can't really tell but how this thing feels as smooth mm -hmm. as glass now. Mm -hmm. I found a, uh, I've been experimenting, and I, I found a new way to finish the sides of these 
using a lot less material than I used before. Uh, some type of, after I sand it, well, cut it, shape it, sand it, and then I, I use a, a sealer on it to seal up all the pores so mm -hmm. that when I do finish, it's like a glass finish. It's not like all rough and like sandpaper and stuff like that. Yeah. So so I've I created uh, some, some uh, finished it to, of myself, and I put that on there as a sealer, and with that done, then I went back and I used my uh, this stuff I call Yorkshire grit, mm -hmm. which really brings us down to a really micro fine uh, finish on it. Mm -hmm. And then I put my final finish on it and it's as smooth as glass. I don't yeah. know if you can see it there, but it is so nice. And, and it takes, it's less work to do. Mm -hmm. So automatically, I like that. So, I, uh, so I'm incorporating that now in the rest of my work here. And, um, so one last thing to finish where you show this off real quick. Oh no, you're good. Okay. You're like, we're, we're doing good. A, yeah. a little bowl was floating around and actually fell off my desk the other day. I thought, hey, this looks really nice. Again, spalted piece of oak. No, oh, this is maple. Spalted piece of maple. Different spalting. Sometimes you can't tell what kind of wood it is from the spalting because it's right. so old. Yeah. But again, this was just a little small piece of maple that had some nice little character in it. And that's what I like about wood. It's that it doesn't maybe not, some people might say, oh, that doesn't look right. It's got cracks, it's got mold through it and everything. And and even in fact, this one here had this, see this little Oh yeah, I see that. things uh -huh. there. And yeah. people might think, well, that may this wrong with that. Well, actually, no, this has been fused six ways to Sunday. This thing will never come <laughs> apart. But and it has a little bowl, I'm gonna make a little top for it as well, too. Like a decorative that. type piece. You, you can hold all your flat. dimes in it. How about that? Uh, oh, quarters? Quarters. <laughs> hey, a 50 cent piece will yeah, fit in there. So I'm anyway, like just another, another little piece. Cute. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm another like piece like bowls. that. I've got little bowls everywhere. But I got plans it. and designs Damn. for something like this to make a, a, a lidded top mm -hmm. for other things as well, too, for designs or for even for uh, some of the orts that are going to be using stuff like that, yeah. different shapes. But I want to I want to try some different shapes rather than just make the plain old orts like mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. I used to make them. That would make a neat ort holder. I think it would because you could fit a ton of them. Yeah. You stick a little finger oh, yeah, in there. You, you can, can press them down in there. Yeah. And it would fit a lot of things in there. I still again I got to finish off the bottom. That, That's uh, a neat idea. But when I get this top done as well as my my poplar bowl here, I'll I'll show that to you as well too. But uh, hey, you know. It's just amazing how things come to you. Uh, this no. fell off the shelf and, or my desk and said, hey, here I am. Work Here's on some, me. Work, work on me. me. <laughs> Service me. Whatever. So, yeah. uh, well, I've got a very little haul this time, which I guess probably is a good, a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh, I got my um, Simple White Nuts Club in from Heartland Quilting. I don't know how, excuse me, how many more months this is going on, but I really am enjoying getting this. I've started one of them. Uh, we're going to the mountains in October, and I'm going to be taking my saw machine and working on working on a bunch of these. There you go. So anyway, this one is called Tucked Away. And that's the, <laughs> the way it ends up. Very cute. Very cute. This is a ends up 12 and a half by 14 and a half. So that is a little little stitch and look at these beautiful fabrics y'all see those i just love kim bill fabrics they look uh they're small prints and they just, i just think they're so pretty wow that is very aren't nice. they beautiful and then i just could not resist this i kept looking <laughs> at it and just thinking do i want to get it oh so i went ahead and bit the bullet and i called uh Sandra and talked to Amy at Cross Stitching Crafts mm -hmm. uh, to see if they had the kit because this uh, is Quakers, Flowers of Quaker by Rosewood Manor mm -mm -mm. by Karen Kluba. And this came out at market. I know y'all have seen this. It is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Super. Oh my goodness. Leo's over here playing. Can y'all hear him? Yeah, he's not it's playing, saying, he's trying to get our attention so we go feed, feed him. Feed me, it's time for him to eat, it's after five. Past feeding time, <laughs> past feeding time, yeah. But anyway, this is stitched with Valdani thread. And it, you, uh, this is the thread pack that comes with it. Look at those colors. Oh my, they are just so beautiful. The reds, the pinks, the purples, and the greens, and it's a little bluish kind of. I guess that's more is that more purple blue. That is, yeah, yeah. purple blue. Oh, it's just like beautiful. Lavender, uh, yeah. But anyway, Amy was telling me. I said, well, she said it calls for a twenty-eight count. I said, I really don't want to do it on a twenty-eight count. Can I do it on a thirty-six? And she said, yes. 
Mm -hmm. So you can, because uh, one of her customers is doing it. She's doing it on a 36 count sand. That mm. picture this plus. And she's using, instead of the called for three strands, she's using one strand and it's perfect. So you know, we put them all in those little, little balls in little there balls. like that. They're really Some nice. Some flowers of Quaker. Thank you, Amy and Sandra, for taking care of me and getting me <laughs> Yeah, yeah, three uh, strand cotton. Hand over dyed color fast. Made in Romania. In Romania. Romania. It's just beautiful. Look at those colors, the purple flowers. Look at these purple irises down here. I guess they're it's like a beard, bearded iris or something. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. But anyway, so that is the extent of my haul. And which I like I said is probably a good thing because I need to trim it down a little bit. Um I'm I'm down to just one fabric of the month and mm. one floss of the month. Well, two from Vicki Clayton, so I, I still count that as one. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that is the extent of our whips and our finishes. Yeah. Oh, we got some more haul, but we can't show it. Yeah, we got we thousand dollars worth of cherry oh, in right, our garage now. Right, and it's a little bit bigger than well, a little bit bigger, yeah, yeah which is nice. So, so the the um, tiny towns might look just a little bit different. Might have more of a have lip. more of a bevel on it than say like this tiny town here per se. Our cherry ones have been kind of. Uh, small so I wasn't not able to put a very good uh yeah there's but, still a bevel on it but not not as much, not as, as, much as, as, as as much as say these 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 maples here or the nevi needles or the or the nevies for yeah, sure because the nevies yeah. are I have to cut them down more but see to cut these at the right circumference there it doesn't leave much That's space right. with yeah. the even yeah. with a four by four like they got there but those are pretty big so and blonde, some of them even uh, the cherry look orange in I some know, of them. I know, I know. So mean, that's going to be interesting when I, I finish that. It's going to be real up. interesting to see that. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you can't hardly get in the back door for <laughs> all the wood. So it should be enough to last us for a while. Uh, yes. Indeed. So anyway, if you're still with us, we have done pretty good. It's just a little over an hour. Uh, hour Thank you minutes. for for yeah. spending time with us, and we hope that you enjoyed yourself and you got inspired to go pick up some stitches or start something new or watch a new floss tuber or put something a different type of finish um <laughs> if you haven't uh, subscribed before please go ahead and subscribe and like this video and we'd love to hear from you yes. uh we are so close to 1.5 uh, one and a half thousand yep. people subscribers and like you said 1.5k so we're getting there <laughs> we're very happy and we did have gotten a lot of new subscribers um, we did want to announce a We do. Sale. Yes, we do. We have a sale. This yeah. is a uh, Memorial Day sale for everybody else is doing it, so why not jump yeah, on the bandwagon? Yeah. And we'll offer some pretty good deals. Well, real good deals, real as a matter of fact. Deal. Yeah. So go ahead and tell them that. Uh, so all these skips, uh, this will on sale today, all these skips are 25% off, whether they're the mini, the medium B skips, or the large B skips. The minis are just about gone already. But Peter, this sale is going to go in, go on from Saturday to Friday. So he's going to be replenishing the stock this week on the minis and yeah, they whatever, going we, pretty fast, yeah, whatever so. we sell out. 25% off is a pretty good deal. Yeah. Uh, so please stop by the shop. There'll be a link down below uh, for y'all to go and go and visit our shop. Yeah. And we yeah. would take requests too. I mean, if you have to have something that you know that you would like done maybe perhaps of a different size or right. shape or even a different kind of wood that i could i could find whatever all right take yeah, a quest yeah. but uh but we must we just love to hear from you because we we really get it i mean it's it's a real hoot we're hearing from somebody it out is. there in uh in, in Plus the two whole community <laughs> yeah it really is it's nice uh -huh. we like to like to do that and uh, how wonderful that we can connect like this you know Two of the stitchers that are in our Wake Forest Library group, I met because of Floss Tube and because of our shop. How about that? Yeah, Donna oh, and yeah. Susie. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that's that's great. We just we really enjoy this. It's it's widening our horizons. Yep. And Every one of you we consider as our friends. Yes. And uh, we want to do everything we can to make you happy and to just be in uh, in relation with you. And yeah, I'd love to love to Wonderful. meet you someday. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, so, okay, well, we'll okay. come to the end of the road. The Thank you so much road. again for Thank listening. You. I would yes. just like to leave you with this one thought, if I could. And uh, this comes from the uh, from First uh, uh, Thessalonians here. And um, let's see, I do think I just had it here. Oh, yeah, here it is right here. Uh, do, 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 do. It says, uh, First Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 12. says, And may the Lord make 
your love for one another and for all people grow and overflow just as our love for you overflows. Of course, that's Apostle Paul talking to Thessalonians, but the greatest thing of all these is love. We all need to love each other. Oh, yeah. if this world was full of godly love mm -hmm. and we could all love each other as God made us to do, yeah. and how wonderful it would be. So mm -hmm. pray God's love would, would flow through you and in you and on you and bless you greatly and richly mm -hmm. this week. Mm -hmm. Richly. One thing we wanted to add that we had thought about um, since our last floss tube together was we would love to pray for y'all. Yes. And uh, if you have any prayer requests, uh, you can send them to, you can either comment below, but if you want it private, uh, please send it to our email address. It's peaksbskeps at gmail.com. It'll be down below. Yeah. We will keep it confidential. Absolutely. But we would love to pray for you, add you to our prayer list, and um, you know, just draw us all closer together in, uh, in our faith and love for the Lord. I believe in prayer. God has worked wonderful ways in wonderful in our ways. life, right. and uh, I just uh, I, I just believe in prayer. So I do too. if we can do anything at all, we can pray for you. I would love right. to do that. Yeah, or for any of your loved ones, just just let us know. We would love to include Even you in our private, prayers. unspoken, whatever. God knows. Yes. Yes. <laughs> God yeah. knows. Yeah. And we just want to join with you in prayer, whatever you may be walking through or facing in any circumstance or situation. Mm -hmm. And that's one one of the things that's beautiful about prayer is there's no limit, no time, there's no space or time limit, you know. So we can pray for people across the world, and mm. uh, God hears, God knows, that's God right. sees, and He cares. Thank God so. for the technology we can do all this. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. So we just wanted to put that out there. If, if you uh, have a prayer need, let us know. Yeah. Okay. We love you guys. Thank and you. God like, bless. Like Peter said, just keep loving and keep being kind and happy stitching. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So. God bless. Okie doke. Bye-bye. <laughs>